Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be using the posterize. Yes, uh, lots of us goes into image and adjustments and going to posterize and try and see what they come up with. And uh, sometimes not uh, with the best results. So we've got this, uh, this photo. I'm going to image adjustments and I'm going to do that, posterize. And as you can see it's well, there isn't much we can do, and the thing is, the lower the number, the more effect of posterize you can get, and the higher, as you can see, just goes back to the original photo, and it was very bad. So, what we can do is duplicate this layer, and now go to into image adjustments and desaturate, a Control Shift U if you like shortcuts like me. And now let's apply the um, adjustment post rise and look at this. Just for desaturating the image, the great effect that gives. And uh, well, might look a bit funky, but it's not bad. Yeah. And see, I'm just I'm using arrow keys up and down to go higher on the numbers. And this might be something cool for some something for any sort of design kind of a threshold look um, what we can also do is um, you go into filter and let's add a bit of a blur I'm going to use Gaussian blur I'm just going to 1.5 pixels yeah this should be fine I'll click OK and now I'm going into image again adjustments and posterize and you can see straight away just made big difference just changing a couple of settings so I'm going to try a different photo okay then this is already in black and white and I'm going into image adjustments and posterize and if this is the look you're after it kind of looks quite cool as default it's uh, the level is number four but uh, you can use the arrow keys up and down but look at this see never thought of that and it looks looks quite cool kind of a threshold look like I mentioned before but I'm going to cancel that let's add a bit of a blur so I could have just hold control F to apply the last filter but this is a higher resolution photo the other one I've resized to upload to Facebook and that's the sort of thing so Gaussian blur and I'm going to apply obviously because of the resolution uh, a bit of a blur I'll click OK I'm going to edit oops sorry images adjustments and posterize and look at this see and you can pick the effect you're after I kinda like this one here but that's only me but let's go to another photo okay then we've got this photo okay then this photo and this photo are stock photos um, so we've got this photo okay then I always say duplicate layer so I'm going to do it and I'm going into image adjustments and post rise and once again it looks okay so what I'm going to do is Control Shift U to desaturate or image adjustments and desaturate and then after that I'm going to posterize and it does look much better kind of cool effect I like this one and I like this one yeah this one is okay as well hmm. as you can see the possibilities are it's amazing what you can do with this just experimenting so now I'm going to add the so-called Gaussian blur I remember back in the day a few years ago Scott Kelby and Dave Cross they were trying they they were saying Gaussian or Gaussian and then Dave Cross pointed that some viewers said it's actually Gaussian so I'm going to stick with Gaussian blur and um, this bit of a blur I'm going now into image adjustments and I'm going to posterize 
and as you can see just gave completely different effect straight away uh, I'm going to for this one I'm going to click OK and now we're not changing the blend modes and try something and you can just change the blending modes what I'm doing is because it's highlighted the blending mode I can use the scroll wheel of my mouse up and down to go through the blending modes but look at this quite cool nah nope it's not too bad but as you can see oh this is nice luminosity see as you can see desaturating the image giving a bit of a blur you can you can give any sort of blur you like uh, I'm going to filter actually duplicate the layer you can use control J or command J I'm going to filter and I'm going to use another filter hmm what shall I go for I'm going to use surface blur to see what I can come up with okay this looks, looks okay edit oops sorry image adjustments post rise see looks cool looks very very cool and like I said if you want to apply a bit more surface blur I'm going to do that control F image adjustments post rise hmm kind of a cartoonish look very cool I hope you liked it and I see you next time bye for now